June 17, 2009. I'm about to call Bank of America again and discuss my home loan. Thank you for calling the home retention team. We are here to help. We are a debt collector. Your call may be monitored or recorded for quality assurance. Thank you for calling. My name is Ira. May I ask for speaking with please? Hello, Ivan. My name is Susanna Griffey. This is the second phone call I've made to you guys this week. I called, I called on Monday and spoke with uh, LaShawn, and uh, I just have a very simple request. Let me ask you this, Ms. Griffey. What is it that you're trying to get done, and I'll see if I can help you with that. I'd love to help you. You guys have sent me a letter stating that you guys now hold my, my note on my mortgage. Right. Um, I called to ask for proof of that. Just a simple legal document showing that Bank of America does now have the uh, the authority to to service this loan. I just want some kind of legal proof, and um, I spoke with a Rosa back the beginning of May, and uh, then I received a letter from you guys called a notice of intent to accelerate okay. a few a few weeks after that. And there was no mention of my request. There's no acknowledgement right. of what I have asked for. And now you guys are threatening to turn me over to uh, your foreclosure department. All I'm asking for is that Bank of America provide to me a legal document that says you now have the legal authority to service this loan. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, I can understand and address that right away, Ms. Griffey, for you. I can see why you haven't received anything, and also I, I understand why that letter of uh, uh, intent to accelerate letter was sent out. After, after I received your notice of intent to accelerate, mm -hmm. I, um, I wrote a letter to you guys and sent it certified, right. and then of course I, I call again on Monday and LaShawn tells me that basically you guys would rather foreclose on my house than to take the money that I have to give to the lender who is due the money instead of just proving to me that you guys have the legal authority to do this. In other words, what I'm looking for here is a paper trail. Surely, if you guys bought the loan, the note, and it has been bought and sold many times since I bought this house, right, right. surely there is a paper trail. Right. And instead, LaShawn tells me on Monday, she goes, uh, well, on Wednesday, which is today, June 17th, that you guys were going to turn me over to your foreclosure department. Uh, let, let me paint this picture for you. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll explain what, what, you know, how, how it is to be on this end of the phone. Let, let me just kind of paint this picture for you. Oh, by the way, are you recording this conversation? Uh, these calls may be randomly monitored and recorded, so I'm not certain if this one is. They, they never let us actually know. Okay, so, well, you don't, you don't mind if I have a witness or, or record this, do you? I am unable to allow you to record it. I apologize. So Why would you not allow me to record it? You can't. Uh, because that's part of our procedures. We don't allow the calls to be recorded on your end. If you guys have the right to record me, I have a right to record you. Uh, just like you guys or the, the person who is due my mortgage payments certainly does have a right to receive them. Uh, you know, everybody wants me to do my due diligence, and I'm all for that. Uh, is this call being recorded on your end? Yes, it is. I'll need to place you on hold while I find the right verbiage for that. I mean, I'd love to speak with you, but I can't if you're recording the call. And it's a very, very simple response, and I believe that you'll be very pleased with what my response is. Well, you know, the response I have gotten from Rosa in early May, and... Yeah, what did we tell you? You should have gotten our welcome letter. Right. Okay, a welcome letter is a form letter and that will not suffice. That is not a legal document. I need to know that I'm making my mortgage payments to the right lender. And why Bank of America would, would not want to provide that proof to me, I just don't understand. That is the very reason for my concern. And then you guys have rules you want to record? I can't. Why? You want me to do my due diligence, but you don't want to do yours? Why? Now, 
Yes. Your concerns are important to Bank of America. Please yeah. note that Bank of America prefers not to engage in recorded calls. Should you wish to continue this call, you must cease recording this call. If you are unwilling to comply and cease recording this call, I will have to end this call. Are you refusing to prove to me that you are on my note? Ms. Griffey? Yes. I understand that you have refused to cease recording this call. Yes, I refuse to. Okay, therefore I must discontinue this call.